Hi, uh, this tutorial is uh, all about uh, how to create multiple selection list box. As you can see, this is my list box, and you can, you can carry out multiple selections or select individual item. Okay, look at it. When you look underneath the form, you will see my status bar, which is right here. My status bar actually shows you which score numbers were selected. And uh, the second part of the status number actually tells you which numbers were selected. You can see that. Now I have 75, 79, and uh, 164. Okay, that's how it works. So, what I'll do is to I'll show you how this uh, program was implemented so that you guys can have a go at your own convenience. So I'll go straight into the uh, code view and you'll see what and what I did. Okay, let's go to code view now. So I'm just going to close that. So right here what I did right from start was uh, import my system graphics that I actually used that just to just to write my title out and right down here I've used the uh, form one print just to write out how to create multiple selection list box and uh, that's the metal juice and the color that I used, the size, okay, the coordinates, the font style, the, st uh, the size, and uh, you can either make this uh, italic, regular, or bold as the font style. Okay, this is the list box defined but one thing is if you look at the form there is no list box because I'm actually using a method called a method that we actually declare list box one as a new list box look at it right there okay and then uh, my form when the program start running the form actually loads up the list box but the first thing is to set the background to brown load up this list box and I define the size as I made it 800 by 400 then the list box location okay just like the coordinate add handlers okay the handlers will be index um, select index selected address of the list box selected index changed okay me dot control All right okay, that's it right there i will upload this code into my share drive if you guys uh, if you fancy carrying out something like this or you might add it to one or two of your projects one of these days Okay, but right down here are the default selections within my list box. But look at it. Let me just add one, maybe one or two more, or make it, make that. Because I have 400, I've actually defined. Uh, if you look at my, my, I think it's right here. Yeah, that's it. I have 400, I've actually defined 400, okay? Now if I come down here, I can always change it to maybe 120. So you see all of these selected immediately. Those are the defined, or those are the default selections you will see on my program. Program once you start running, so let me just Run the program, you see what I mean. You can see those 
and the default selections. Can you see that? Okay. So I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight right there. Okay. If I decide to get rid of them, let's say I come here, get rid of all of them. It's obvious you guys will not see the default selections no more. Okay, can you see that? So that's the whole idea of the default selection. Now the the status bar right there, if I click on that, it shows you what and what which uh, item I've selected. Okay. So you guys can do the same thing. But before I forget, let me return my default selections. That's my default selection back. We we'll run the program one more time, and that's it. That's the default selection. Okay. So let's run it one more time. Okay. You see the default selections again. Okay. So if you want you can do something similar or send me a request for your codes and on the other hand you do not have to send me a request for the codes I believe you must have seen everything okay guys so you all have a, you all have a nice day now guys bye